In this QuickBooks Online training video, I'm going to show you how to enter a deposit when the amount received is less than the invoice amount. This can happen usually when there's a bank fee or perhaps a merchant account fee. First, it's important to note that the amount that we record in received payment should be the full amount of the invoice. So in this case, I'm going to record a payment from Bill's Windsurf Shop for the full invoice amount of $85 and I'm going to save and close. Now I'm going to record the deposit. I'll go to my quick create menu, select bank deposit. In this example let's assume that I actually received $80 in my bank account and that there was a bank fee or a merchant account fee that I need to record. So as you can see, we have Bill's Windsurf Shop for $85. Our total deposit shows $85 currently, so I need to get it down to $80. The way we do that is we go here to this line and we'll select Bank Charges, then enter a negative. So we'll enter a minus 5. And now notice that our deposit is $80. It matches what we received in the bank account and we can click Save and Close. You'll find that this is really useful if you use a PayPal account and you need to record PayPal fees. But instead of bank account, I would probably just create a new account for PayPal fees. In this case, I would change that to PayPal fees and Save and Close. So by doing this, when we look at our transactions, you can see that the amount of the invoice and the amount of the payment are the same amount. So my accounts receivable will correctly show that this invoice was paid and my bank account will correctly show a deposit of $80. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get more QuickBooks Online training videos.